Hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Balaji. So today is an interesting concept again. We're going to learn statistics, and the concepts we're going to learn are mean, median, and mode. Of course, you'd have learned this earlier in school, but what you're going to do here today is write queries to get mean, median, and mode. This is because we do not have any inbuilt functions in SQL to get these numbers. At least for yes, uh, mean we do have, but not for median and mode. We'll find out a way to get these. First, let's start off by defining what these concepts are. So, to know what is mean, mean essentially is the average of all the values that are present there. So, if you're going to take the average, that is average of the above values, this value is called the mean of the set of numbers. Mode essentially is the number that is repeating the most number of times is a mode. If you see here, the number 5 is repeating twice and the rest of them are repeating only once. And therefore, the mode for this set of values is 5. And median here is defined as if you are going to arrange all these numbers in ascending order, what is the middlemost number that is there? Say if there are odd elements, odd number of elements, that is here we have seven elements the middlemost number that is five is a mode sorry is a median so let me write down five in case there are even number of elements say if i remove eight what is the median here we're going to take the middle two elements and take the average of it and that is the median so the average of three and five is four and this is how mean median and mode are defined so to validate it let's use the inbuilt function of uh, excel to understand if we are right or not so we have defined the median for these numbers as 4 so there's an inbuilt function here yeah it is 4 say if i add another number that is 8 and i change the thing here it is 5 so this is how median is defined and mode if you notice here phi is repeated twice even if i use the input function that is mode and here it is phi so this is how mean median and mode are calculated let's write queries on this and understand how these are to be calculated using sql now before going on to the queries, let's see how we are going to frame a logic on calculating these. So let me copy these. All right. So how do we calculate mean? Mean will be very simple. We just have to use the inbuilt average function in SQL and that will give us a mean. So we're going to use abg and this. This is how we're going to get the mean. Uh, now mode. Mode is also pretty easy. There are two different ways. The first way is we are going to group them by the numbers that group them. Then arrange them in descending order of the frequency third is to limit one so this will give the highest frequency repeated number or uh, we can give it a, a rank function in descending order and choose the rank one so these are the two alternate ways how we can get the mode. So if you're going to group them, you'll have five repeating twice and the rest of them having only one repetition. So this is how we're going to calculate mode. Now let's go to median. Median is a little tricky one. So I'll paste this here. Yeah, I'll paste it here. So we have the numbers one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Let me give you like a few more numbers. 54. 11, 
so so what happens here we have a few, few more numbers so uh, so how are we going to work on this so the logic here being first we're going to put them in an ascending order as in this is not mandatory but let's put it in an ascending order all right so it's in an ascending order now let's see how many do we have we have 10 elements so the logic here is we're going to give it a row number so let's give it a row number in ascending order one two three so on and so forth till 10 so this is an ascending order of row number and similarly we're going to give a descending order of row number reason i'll mention so we have this all right so how are we going to get the middlemost number the logic being subtract the ascending order row number minus descending order row number and yes you see a point of a change here so every middle number or middle element will have one or minus one as the difference say for example give us one additional element that is if we had 11 so right now we have 10 i'll add one more element say 55 so what's going to happen is this will become row number 11 and for this will also be number 11 and when we rewrite the formula here this will be all right i'll extend it here and we have a zero so now we know that if it's a even number of elements we have the middlemost numbers being a difference of one and minus one and if it's an odd number of elements the middlemost number having a difference of zero so if we have a uh, element in either of these uh, differences that is going to be our median so let's start writing the query and i'll explain it through on how we're getting the solution so yes so we have a sample data here let's start off writing uh, solutions for the mean so select all from purchase history so this is sample data as we just saw mean is like pretty easy let me take the average average product price as mean so this is the mean of the set of data that we have on top now let's go to mode so let me write the query for more. I'll write this as product price, comma, count, product price as frequency root by one. So this is going to give us a frequency. So if you see here, one has been repeated thrice, 45 repeats two times, 17 repeats two times. But we need one as the output because that is the highest frequency uh, product price so order by two limit one so we have the mode here sorry order by two descending right so we have the mode here which is one as a product price so this is how we get the mode or alternatively you can give it a rank function over the frequency let me do that for you all right so select all from So, product price, comma, 
frequency comma right here power by frequency descending as ranking where equal to one Okay, let's get an alias. Alright. We'll have to call it outside again. All right, we have product price as one, frequency as three, and ranking as one. So this is the way you get the mode. Now let's go to median. So I'll remove all of it. Let all run. Which is history where we have it. So let me just take the product price. All right, then we'll give it a row number. So number over order by product price ascending as row ascending all right we are given it an ascending order of row number let us also give it a descending order of row number so i'll copy this paste it here Descending and I will name this as row descending. Alright, we have both ascending and descending. Uh, Alright, let's take the difference. So, so I call from for product phase row ascending row descending and row ascending minus row descending this will likely throw an error yes it threw an error right it's an unsigned value. Let's cast it into a signed value. Cast as signed. Cast as signed. it's giving me the difference so what is done here is it's essentially giving an error because we are subtracting these numbers uh, so i've given it as signed i cast it as signed and therefore it's giving me it's taking it as a, a integer and it's subtracting both of them so if you see here the middlemost number that is 28 has 1 and 18 has minus 1 so this is the these are the middle two numbers and there are 26 totally that is the output say i remove one of these numbers let me remove 17. so we have odd number of rows so the middlemost number is zero so what i'm going to do i'll just make this as a ct with answer as Connect all from master. So that's here. I will be selecting only those that are in 0, 1, or 2. So 0, 1, or minus 1. Where I'll give this an alias as diff where diff in. 0, 0, 1, 
minus one. All right, it's fetched the one the middle most number that is the difference is zero. Say if I add seventeen again, so it's going to give me the middle two rows again. So this is how you get this, and we just have to average it. So I'm not taking all of it. I'm just taking product price and average as median. So if there are even number of elements, it's going to average them. If there's odd number of elements, that's uh, only one record out. It is going to average it again, but it would make a difference because it's only one element. So the average of 28 and 18 is 20, 30, 38, 46, and 23. So the average will be 23. So it should be 23, right? So, and if I remove one of it, the middlemost number will be 28. So this is the median, and this is how you calculate the median. So this is how you calculate mean, median, and mode. If you have any other doubts, do I'll put it down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And do follow the uh, channel for more such questions. So these are questions that are, that are directly asked at interviews and given I've had the experience of attempting a lot of interviews, I'm sharing them with you. Thank you.